Hello ladies and gents and welcome to Mass Effect 3 playthrough. Well that's what we're going to have a look at. Uh, Mass Effect 3's demo is here and we're going to start that now. And after an hour of messing about trying to get this thing working, I hope that it's going to work this time. Because I started the recording and apparently an update happened while I was logging into Mass Effect 3. And I had to do that and it caused complications, Xbox kept on freezing. I had to restart the router, or router, whatever you call the thing. And, yeah, a load of messing about, but today we're going to be checking this out to see if the game is... Well, it's going to be good, um, because I'm checking it out. After the first one, I played Mass Effect 1, and to be honest, I didn't finish it, but uh, there's Mass Effect 2, and I wanted to check that out as well. And if Mass Effect 3 is any good, I'm going to play all three, and yeah that'll be good so press start let's go oh god it would help if i actually turned on my bloody controller shit in hell basics man well there's earth being completely destroyed in the background alliance network you must oh fucking hell I've already got an EA account, or Origin, or whatever the shite it's called. Come on. Didn't realise there was all this bullshit behind it as well. Right, so it's communicating. Damn it. Oh, here we go. The multiplayer section of Mass Effect 3 unlocks on Friday, February the 17th. That's tomorrow. Shit. Okay. Right, so we're going to check out the single player demo. Right, okay. March the 6th. Why is it Europe gets the shit end of the stick all the time? The later release date. Oh, okay. Choose your experience. So that the type of experience you'd like to have. Action. Uh, why not all three blocks? Okay. Uh, jump right into the action as the iconic Commander Shepard. The traditional Mass Effect 3 experience. Customize your character. Choose dialogue responses. Uh. Let's just go for role playing. First name John Shepard, okay. First name, right. Mike. Mike Shepard, lol. The default appearance, do we want to go with the default one? Look, he's looking around. <laughs> Check out his eyes. Lol. He's on something, I'm telling you. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Right, okay. Um, let's just go with the default appearance for now. So, oh god. All these classes, I remember these now. There's a soldier, pure combat specialist, no one is tougher. Infiltrator, tech and combat specialist with the unique ability to cloak themselves. Feared, uh, high risk, high reward combat style. What the hell does that mean? Uh, Sentinel. Yeah, Sentinel, yeah. Sentinel, yeah, how bloody easy is that? Well, I'm just going to go with a soldier, because I'm guessing is the all-round... Wait, adept. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to go with soldier, because it sounds like an, you know, all-round thing. You were raised an orphan. Oh, the street's great. Uh, okay, Earthborn... You're born on... 
I'm just going to say Earthborn. Yeah. Sole survivor. During the military service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in a life-threatening situation, you had, no, had to overcome the physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken. You found yourself false... Uh, war hero gone then. <laughs> the deaths... Wait. Psychological pro profile. The deaths of numerous squad mates have begun... Okay. I don't know, I'm just going to say numerous. Uh. Alright, let's go. So, yes, I need to play Mass Effect 1 and 2 now. <laughs> to understand what those things meant. I'll pick it up, hopefully. Right, let's listen to this now. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone in the universe. 30 years later, they found a peaceful place among dozens of galactic species. But this idyllic future is overshadowed by the dark past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life every 50,000. I didn't get to finish that. Piss in hell. But I'm guessing, yeah, the Reapers are robot bastards that are going to try and kill everyone. So, we have to defend Earth. As I gathered from the trailers. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The Defense Committee wants to see you. Sounds important. Hmm. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Huh. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to... What are... How big are the, the Reapers, then? They're just scared. If they're just robots, can't you, like... EMP We've all reviewed your report, seen the data you've collected, but it's all just theory to us. You've been there, in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they're capable of. Is that why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. Hmm. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard, 